Hello everybody, welcome back. The bold and beautiful recap for August 17 to 21st, 2020 features two very distinct camps. Those who think that broke and rich love affair is well and truly over and those who believe that the two will reconcile going to war. Boy, how the tables have turned. After that case of insisting to anyone within earshot that she and Rich were each other's destiny, it was Brooke who needed to be convinced that the coupling could weather Hurricane Shorner. Friends and family spent the week doing their best to reassure Brooke that the quickie Vegas nuptial would be over and done within a few days. And even Brooke had to admit that she and Rich had one major advantage going for them, history that case and that case of history. But Brooke still had her doubts and she was a very very angry lady. Even after Rich hit upon the perfect solution for their predicament, a quickie announcement, she still needed some convincing. In point of fact, what Brooke really needed was a lot of convincing because truth be told, she was ready to throw in the tower. Rich's most recent betrayer had cut her to the quick and she was quite sure that not only did she no longer trust him or have faith in him, but she also didn't even really like him. But true love endure, as it always does, the argument between the two de-escalated into contagious laughter, and soon they were declaring their affection and their determination to make their latest reunion a permanent one. Steffi's ongoing struggle with the crash-related injuries continued and the pain was gaining ground. A simple task like putting on a sweatshirt, lying down in a bed, or picking up a laptop elicited a tsunami of agony, leaving the young mother visually incapable of taking care of her daughter. Steffi valiantly fought the good fight, but she was in desperate need of pharmaceutical assistance. A phone call and a half-held plea to Dr. Finn resulted in the filling of another prescription, but both parties know that the care could be worse than the airman. Brooke, I have to accept what? That things happened the way Shauna said they did, that she didn't manipulate the situation. Queen, of course you are going to see this as a manipulation. Your ego wouldn't let you see it as anything else. Brooke Logan never loses to another woman. Clearly Queens never met or even heard about Caroline Spencer and Dr. Taylor Hayes. Brooke lost big time to those two ladies. And sure, she may have emerged a victor in the end, but it was only after the former died and the latter went loopier than a fruit bat. The bow and the beautiful ass weekdays are on CBS. Check your local listings for at times. Seems like some hot drama will happen, so stay tuned. I'll update and come back with the latest spoilers. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more videos every day.